Hello everyone! So our lesson for today is all about problem solving involving rational equation. So we have here two most essential learning competencies. So the first one represents real life situations using rational functions. So at the end of our discussion, we are able to represent realistic situations using rational function. Number two, solves problems involving rational functions and equations. So at the end of our discussion, so you should be able to solve uh, problems involving rational equations. So example one, example one is a number problem. So it involves numbers. So the problem is, the denominator of a fraction is two more than the numerator. If one is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, the resulting fraction has a value of one half. So find the original fraction. So take note, pag number problem, dapat, a problem solving, dapat isa-isa ho na nimo o understand every phrases sa ato ang sentence. Kaya kung dili niyo masabtan ang problem, Dili ni mo ma-solve or ma-arrive ang exact na solution. Okay, so isa-isa ho na to siya. So, sa so first na phrases or sa first na sentence, it, say, it says the denominator of a fraction. So, when you say denominator of a fraction, so di ba ang fraction na ang may numerator, So, di ba yun na, na ang fraction na ay numerator sa taas, ang denominator sa baba. So, ang ingon diri, the denominator, so, ibig sabihin diri as sa baba, of a fraction is 2 more than the numerator. So, ang denominator daw is more than 2 kung i-compare sa numerator. So, syempre, plus 2 kasi more than man, so plus so, plus 2 to ang denominator compare sa numerator. So, since dili given kung unsa na number ang numerator, so, e represent natin siya as variable. So, when you say variable ka ng letters, so, ang letter na mostly ginagamit or variable na mostly ginagamit sa math is variable x, y, and z. So, pwede pa na naman i-represent as any na letter. As long as, kasi variable pa din yun. So, ang gagamitin natin is variable x. So, since dili given kung unsa na number ang numerator, so, i-represent natin siya as variable x. Kung variable x ang numerator, then ang denominator is more than 2 man daw sa numerator. So, therefore, ang denominator is x plus 2. Okay, kung unsa tong value sa numerator, mag plus 2 lang ka. O na tong result sa denominator. So, ito yung original fraction natin sa first sentence. So, muna yung original fraction. Okay, so sa second sentence na ta. So, ang original fraction is x over x plus 2. So, sa second sentence, if 1 is subtracted, so, ko ang 1 daw is subtract from both numerator and denominator, so, kung minus 1 daw ug 1 ang numerator, minus 1 daw ug 1 ang denominator, the resulting fraction, so, ang result daw, has a value of 1 half. So, equals 1 half. Okay, ang result daw is 1 half. To find the original fraction. So, itong pangitaon ang value ani sa original fraction. So, since na natay rational equation, so, at pwede na nato siya na masolve. So, x minus 1 over x positive 2 minus 1 is positive 1 equals 1 half. So, since 2 terms, pwede na to siya 
cross multiply. Okay, cross multiply na to. So, 2 times x minus 1. 1 times x plus 1. So, it distribute. So, 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. 1 times x is x. 1 times positive 1 is positive 1. Then, combine like terms. So, copy ang 2x. Si positive x sa right side, kung ibalihin sa left side, mag-change iyang sign. So, magiging negative x. So, copy ang 1. Positive pa rin si 1 kasi hindi nag-change. Naagyapon siya sa right side. So, si negative 2 na from left side, ibalihin sa right side, mag-change iyang sign. So, magiging positive 2. So, x minus x is x equals 3. So, ang value ng ating variable, x is positive 3. So, since ang original fraction natin is x over x plus 2, so, isubstitute lang ang given na answer na positive 3. So, 3 over 3 plus 2 so, 3 over 3 plus 2 is 5. So, 3 fifth. So, therefore, the original fraction is 3. So, since problem solving, so, dapat na akay conclusion. So, mo niya to ang conclusion. So, therefore, the original fraction is 3 fifth. Okay, since 3 fifth, ito ang nasolve. Okay, so, let's proceed to example 2. So, example 2 is a motion problem. So, the problem is, MRT train travels 150 kilometer in the same time that LRT train travels 100 km. So, kung si MRT o si LRT, same sila, kumbaga, sabay sila nag-travel, sabay sila nag -biyahe. Same ilang oras sa pag -biyahe. Pero, mas pas pa si MRT train nag-travel. Kasi, nakatravel na siya o 150 km sa same na oras. Si LRT, nakatravel na siya o 100 km. If MRT train goes 20 km per hour, faster than the LRT, so mas pas pas daw si MRT train og 20 km per hour compare kay LRT. Find the rate of each train. So take note, mo, uh, motion problem is nagamit ka og since ang formula sa distance is Rate times time. Rate times time. So, since ito ang problem, ay identify natin ang mga given na data. So, the given is, iba na ang may train. So, ang saman to na train, MRT o LRT. Okay. So, natin ito ha ka-train sa problem ang MRT o LRT. So, since given ilahang distance, so, identify na to ilahang distance. So, kung si MRT train, at the same time, nakatravel siya all 150 kilometers. So, 150 yung distance. Si LRT, nakatravel siya all 100 kilometers. So, 100 yung distance. The next is rate. 
So, ang rate ni MRT, so, if, if MRT train goes 20 km per hour faster than the LRT, so, when you say faster, so, plus 20 siya kay, mas pas pas daw siya o 20 km compare kay LRT. So, si MRT plus 20 iyahang rate. Plus 20 km per hour. So, since ang rate ni LRT kay dili man given, so, i-represent natin siya as variable. When you say variable, any letters. So, dili man given iyahang rate, so, i-represent natin siya as variable ang rate ni LRT. So, dili ni given iyang rate ha, so, i-represent nato as variable. So, since Si MRT is plus 20 km per hour man siya compare kay LRT. So, ang rate ni MRT is R plus 20. So, ang gigamit na na variable is variable R. Okay, next is time. So, take note, the formula is distance over rate times time or B equals RT. So, kung i-derive ang formula sa D equals RT para makuha ang formula sa time, i-divide lang na sa R. Anong i-divide sa R para makancel out ang R? Time na lang mabilin. So, ang formula sa time is D over R or distance Divided by rate. So, pwede R T equals D over R. So, therefore, ang formula sa time is D over R. So, distance. So, unsa man ang distance sa MRT, 150 man over ang rate sa MRT is R plus 20. So, R plus 20. Okay, next. Ang um, time sa LRT, sa so formula is T equals DR. So, 100, since 100 yung distance over, ang iyahang rate is R. So, nanatay, duha ka rational expression na na form. So, ang duha ka rational expression, 150 over R plus 20. So, i-equate na to sila para ma-solve or makuha ang value sa variable R. So, nagiging rational equation na. Kasi may equal sign naman. So, since two terms ang given, so, ito lang siyang i-cross-multiply. Cross-multiply, so, magiging R times 150. So, 100 times R plus 20. Then, i-multiply 150R equals 100R plus 100 times 20 is uh, 2,000. Then, a transfer So, 150R Ang positive 100R, eh, kung ibalhin sa PCAS, magiging negative. So, 150R by this 100R equals... So, 150 minus 100 is 50. Equals 2,000. So, i-divide sa 50 para makuha ang value sa variable R. So, R equals 2,000 divided by 50 is 40. So, 40, R equals 40. So, therefore, ang rate ni LRT is 40, 40 kilometer per hour. 
since ang rate ni MRT kay R plus 20 man, so, magiging 40 plus 20. So, ang rate niya karon is 60, kay 40 plus 20 is 60. So, 60 kilometer per hour. So, since problem solving, so, natay conclusion. So, ang conclusion, therefore, So, therefore, MRT travels 60 km per hour while LRT travels 40 km per hour. Okay, so let's proceed to example 3. So, example 3 is a work problem. So, the problem is, a large pipe can empty a pool in 6 hours. So, kung ang dako na tubo ang abrihan, mahubas daw niya ang pool in 6 hours. And a small pipe can empty a pool in 9 hours. So, kung ang gamay na tubo ang abrihan, Mahubas ang pool in 9 hours. So, the question is, how long will it take to both pipes to empty a pool? So, kung dungan abrihan, ang duha ka pipe, ang dako na pipe, o ang gamay na pipe, dungan sila abrihan, pila daw ka oras, pila, pila ka oras na mahubas ang pool? So, the given is, so first is, i-identify natin ang given. So, the given is, we have two pipes. So, na ay pipes. Or tubo. So, si, ang pipe is si large or si small. So, si large pipe, ma-empty niya ang pool in six Hours. Si small pipe, may empty niya ang pool in 9 hours. So, money ato ang mga given. So, ang given na number of hours, ato alang siyang i-reciprocal. Kung saan na reciprocal? So, kani reciprocal daw na ato na. So, ato alang, balik ta ron, iyahang fraction. So, since ang um, 6, daman siya invisible na denominator na 1. Diba? Naman na invisible na denominator na 1. So, pag reciprocal, so, balikta doon lang na nato. So, magiging 1, 6 hours. Kani, magiging 1 over 9 hours. So, since Ang question is, both pipes man ang magtrabaho, working together. So, ang ganito na to na operations is addition. Basta mag-work together, uh, mag together ang problem, so addition atong gamito. Pero pag mag-work alone, uh, minus atong gamito. So, kanyang reciprocal atong gamito. So, 1, 6 hours plus... 1, 9 hours equals 1. So, pag work problem, always did siya equals to 1. Ganun man. Kasi, naaman ta sa work problem. Pag mahuman nila og trabaho, isa ka trabaho, ilahang ma successfully done. Kung baga, isa ka trabaho, ilahang mahuman. So, munang always equals to 1. Then, e, LCD. So, unsa yung LCD sa 6 o sa 9? So, ang LCD is 18. Ay, 6, 12, 18, 9, 18. So, ang first na denominator, pinaka-lowest na denominator na mag 
the same ang 6 of 9 is 18. So, ang LCD, i-multiply na to both side sa left side o sa right side. So, 1, 6 hours plus 1, 9 hours equals what? So, i-multiply ang 18 na LCD. So, i-multiply ang 18 na LCD. So, next is i-multiply na. So, 18 times 1. So, naman na invisible 1 dira. Then, na invisible 1. So, 18 times 1 is 18. 1 times 6 is 6. So, 18 times 1 is 18. 1 times 9 is 9. So, 1 times 18 is 18. So, 18 divided 6, 3. So, 3 hours plus 18 divided 9 is 2. So, 3 plus 2, so 5. 5 hours. So, equals 18. So, it divides a 5, it divides a 5. So, 18 divided 5 is 3.6. So, 3.6. So, therefore, ang answer is 3 hours and 0 0.6 minutes. So, since nakadecimal ato ang minutes, i-convert na to siya into uh, whole number na minutes. So, dapat dili siya nakadecimal for, dapat ang answer na to is realistic. So, di ba, hours, minutes, seconds. So, kung napay decimal, i-convert na to sa minutes. Kung napay jay decimal, i-convert na po into seconds. So, since in one hour, so, there are th uh, 60 minutes. So, i-multiply na to siya sa 60. So, 3 hours, 0 0.60 0 0.6 times 60 in 1 hour na may 60 minutes so ang answer is 3 hours and 0 0.6 times 60 is 36 minutes 36 minutes so, kung naapay decimal, i-multiply na po na to siya sa 60 para makuha ang seconds. So, it takes 3 hours and 36 minutes to both pipes to empty the pool. So, at ang conclusion, maning answer ha? So, therefore, it takes 3 hours and 36 minutes to both pipes So, mani ang conclusion. So, kung si large pipe lang ang mag trabaho, 6 hours niya mahubas ang pool. Kung si small pipe lang magtrabaho, 9 hours niya mahubas ang pool. Pero kung silang duha, so since mag-work together man siya, di ba, pang magtinabangay, dali mahuman ang trabaho. So kung sila duha magtrabaho, 3 hours and 36 minutes lang nila mahubas na ang pool. Okay, so let's proceed to example 4. So example 4 na dahil ni... So, example 4 is work problem be happen. So, the problem is, Mark can paint a room in 4 days. So, mahumanda ang pintura ni Mark ang isa ka room in 4 days kung siya lang isa. When John and Mark work together, it would it would take them 2 in 1 half days. So, kung duha sila magtabangan ay ang trabaho, so, mahuman nila ang pintura in 2 and 1 half days. 
So the question is, find the number of days if John will work alone. So pila daw kaadlaw mahuman kung si John lang isa ang magpintura sa room. Okay, so first is, i-identify ang given. So, ang given is, si Mark, mahuman niya o pintura in 4 days. Kung si Mark o si John, Mark and John. So, mahuman nila og pintura in two and one half days. So, since ang given is naka-fraction, naka-mixed fraction. So, ang mixed fraction, i-convert natin into improper fraction. So, when we say improper fraction, mas dako og value ang numerator compared sa denominator. So, kana, i-multiply lang, then i-plus. So, 2 times 2, 4 plus 1 is 5. Copy lang ang denominator. So, therefore, 2 and 1 half days is same as 5 half days. So, since naka-fraction uh, form na, so, ang given na number of days, ato ang i-reciprocal. So, reciprocal. So, ang reciprocal sa 4, since na na siya invisible 1 dira, so 1 4. So, ang reciprocal sa 5 over 2, so, balik ta dun lang, magiging 2 over 5 days. So, ato na ni Karun silang i-solve. So, since ang um, question is, find the number of days if John will work alone. Kung si John ra daw isa, pila yung number of days. So, ang operation ato ang gamiton is minus. So, sa duha na given, mas dako maning trabaho ni Mark o John compared kay Mark. So, naho na itong sulat ang reciprocal ni Mark o ni John. So, two fifth days minus, so minus atong gamito na operation since sa number of days na nahadiriya sa two fifth kung haon na to ang kay John. Equals 1. So, always equals to 1. So, since naapata sa work problem. Kay, one job done man ang ilahang makumplete. So, LCD. So, identify ang LCD sa denominator. So, since 5 and 4 ang denominator. So, ang LCD is 20. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, ang 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So, 20 man ang first na number na magpariha silang duha. So, ang LCD is 20. So, ang LCD i-multiply both sides. Then, i-multiply na. So, naman ni invisible 1. O, nanay, invisible 1. So, 20 times 2 is 40. 1 times 5 is 5. 20 times 1 is 20. 1 times 4 is 4. So, to 1 times 20 is 20. Then, i-divide. So, 40 divide 5 Pila? A. Twenty divided four. Five. So eight days minus five days is three.
Okay, divide set 3. Divide set 3. So, the number of days. So, 20 divide 3. So, we divide 3. 20 divide 3. So, 6, 12, 18. So, 6 and 2 thirds. So, 6 and 2 third days. So, ang conclusion is, it takes, therefore, it takes, so, it takes John to paint a room in six and two-third days. Or it takes six and two-third days. It takes six and two-third days to paint a room.